Hey everybody, it's Party Lead. Welcome back to another episode of our Planet Zoo Franchise Mode Let's Play. We're going to dive right back into Elite Zoo South. As always, there is a lot to accomplish today. We're not going to waste too much time. Hit resume and dive right on in. There is so much I want to get done today. Uh, we're actually, I think, probably going to kick off with a little bit of management stuff at first. And then we're going to dive into a time lapse and then we'll pop out of that time lapse and resume a bit more sort of management level stuff to, uh, to, to wrap up the session. And I think today we're actually going to uh, continue focusing on the otter enclosure and the area around it for a bit of a beautification pass. Uh, I received some excellent suggestions and thoughts and opinions in the comments of the previous episode. Uh, I definitely want to try some of them out. Um, there is some ideas that uh, actually, the, literally the moment I, I stopped recording uh, last session, I was like, oh, I should have done this a little differently. And lo and behold, folks in the comments felt the same way as well, which I, I always find it uh, hilarious and interesting how like in tune uh, we can be at times. I, it's, just, it's always a, a fun little uh, thing in my opinion. But, uh, but there, there's some of that I want to tackle. And so, though I was sort of ready to move on to the next animal enclosure and begin our next uh, adventure, as it were, with regards to adding a new animal, uh, I feel like I would like to uh, sort of put a bow on the otter enclosure, and not just the otter enclosure, but that space in general. I mean, I feel like we've uh, got it mostly, actually, oh man, for the first time with the, uh, the opening uh, section over here, we're able to explore an area that just didn't exist. Um, oh. That feels pretty cool. <laughs> just coming down here this way. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, sorry. Uh, so not just this uh, enclosure itself, but also the area around it, I think needs a little bit of uh, love as far as, uh, you know, uh, lighting or vegetation or just little details here and there. So I'll be working on uh, a few of those different things. We'll also be maybe building some coverings for the, uh, the washrooms and stuff like that. So uh, again, it's hard to say like it's an otter enclosure time lapse that I have planned. Uh, it's sort of like a mix between an enclosure time lapse and a beauty pass time lapse, I suppose, because some of the work we do might actually extend to uh, other elements as well, such as, yes, lighting. Uh, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, the first thing I want to tackle actually is with regards to some of the naming that's left to do. Man, I really like this space. Just like, ugh. it just, I it just, even just like this, like level thing, I'm I really like the space. Um, <laughs> sorry. The first name to implement here. Right. Okay. So I've got a couple of great suggestions. Sorry. That was me just taking a, a peek at my notes. I got a couple of name suggestions across the board, which is always uh, fun, but also uh, difficult because I have to, to you know, make those calls. Uh, it's always difficult to pick between entertaining calls, but uh, ultimately I have managed to do so. Hats, fantastic. Shawl, henceforth be known as uh oh dear <laughs> uh otter couture did i spell that couture did i spell that right i think i spelled that right oh man well now, now i'm gonna have to check because i won't wouldn't be able to live with myself if i spelled it wrong excuse my my uh, obsession here c-o-u e you are a yes all right cool sometimes you got to trust your gut and sometimes you just have to completely ignore your gut the fun thing is you have to your gut is what tells you whether you should trust your gut or not but anyway um otter couture like like ot couture but but otter couture i just couldn't help myself <laughs> over here the uh, monsieur frit will henceforth be known as ah yes uh, so this one comes with a i guess a bit of an explanation uh, one must imagine that at this store they are selling tater tots uh, as opposed to just, you know, fries, in which case the name Otsatots makes sense. <laughs> you know, like lots of tots, except it's Otsatots. That, that's a fun, that's, Otsatots is fun to say. Otsatots. I don't know, it's just one of those, you know, sometimes something has a nice, like, a nice uh, audio aesthetic. Otsatots has that vibe for me. And the Gulpy Slush 2, I believe I mentioned this last session that I, I think I missed uh, or, or I forgot to note down a name suggestion because I remember seeing it. Uh, but yes, I did have a name suggestion and thank you again for, for restating and clarifying and for just your patience in general. Things get very uh, hectic sometimes with, uh, with all the naming coming together at the same time and that's on me. But fortunately, we're able to install Splish Splash Slush. 
for our uh, for our gulpy over here. There you go. And the splish splash split the uh, hoof words splish splish splash. Obviously, in reference to the uh, you know the, the splishing and the splashing over here, that took a lot of effort to say. Wow. Um, all right. Now there are a couple of things to touch on that is not with regards to naming. Actually, there's one last thing with regards to naming I want to touch on. Uh, somehow, I it didn't manage to get a pinned comment uh, with a poll for the name of the uh, the enclosure itself last session. Uh, I didn't realize until like. 30 or 40 minutes after the episode had already been up. And at that point, I always feel bad putting a poll or a pinned comment poll up, you know, after the fact, because it feels almost like a punishment for folks that arrived on time and or not on time, but, you know, arrived earlier or, or what have you. Uh, so I, I didn't want to I didn't want to add the poll after I'd forgotten. But today's episode in the comments, the pinned comment will have a poll uh, where you can vote on the uh, the, the name of our uh, of our, of our of our enclosure over here. And I've got some plans with regards to how I want that name to appear and stuff. Uh, but of course, it is open to a little bit of variation based on uh, based on the uh, the name itself. They are of ah, uh, they're similar length actually. Well, we'll see. They 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 have some different visual uh, uh, elements and stuff that might influence my decision. But uh, but point being, there's a poll. Uh, in the in the in the comments in the pinned comment down below, uh, make sure you have your voice heard and and get your pick in. And this also actually allows people more time uh, to be involved in the voting between now and and next session. Next session, by the way, where I do intend to add a new animal. Which animal? I mean, I know who I want it to be or what I intend it to be. But uh, uh, let me know your thoughts, I guess. Um, all right, so what else did I want to tackle over here? We've got the water. Oh, right. I wanted to change some of these education boards. So for one, it's been pointed out that like having the repetition uh, just hurts the uh, the efficiency of the area, which is absolutely correct. Um, and I need to just investigate what options I might want to use instead. I do believe it points out habitat degradation, degradation, sorry, habitat loss, that's deforestation, water pollution. So it's all... Hmm. I guess we'll kind of go with uh, with some random stuff. I feel like so poaching and uh, exotic pet trade I think works for otters. Uh, deforestation as well, of course, clearly works for otters as a as an education board. Uh, let's go ahead and also add uh, ecotourism. I think is a reasonable thing in this part of the world, right? Because if you think about um, clicked on like every tab except for the one I wanted. Uh, if you think about um, tourism in this space and and all that I, f I feel like it's a relevant uh, conversation perhaps I mean, feel free to correct me if you think I'm wrong I'm always open to that obviously so let's go ahead and get ecotourism and let's also go with uh I don't really I'm not not sure uh the amphibian extinction crisis just as I mean sure <laughs> Uh, we'll have like one of each at this rate. Go and replace you with, uh, land sharing versus sparing. I, I find this illustration to be morbidly adorable. Look at those little eyes. Look at the fear with which they look at the ground they have left. They, these are, these are really well done. Um, I feel like they don't get the attention they deserve. Sure, the bee population decline. And, and, and I mean, they, they all look adorable. I mean, these bees also look adorable. Um... The, 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 they all look great, but there's something about the stacked elephants that I just I can never get enough of. Um, and let's go ahead and make you what? Climate change. I mean, climate change is a problem everywhere, always. So let's go with that. And sure, population fragmentation. Why not? You know, giant rivers splitting entire populations into two. Damn the rivers, stop them from flowing, right? That's how you solve population fragmentation. I'm obviously, maybe not obviously, I'm joking. I'm I'm kidding. Um, all right, so that's that taken care of. One of, uh, of many things. There's also, uh, there was actually a great point about this. The glass really kind of breaks the space. And, uh, and I really, I, I do agree. So what we're actually going to do, and maybe this should be a part of the time lapse, what we're actually going to do is we're going to actually make this entire thing uh, null. And we're going to uh, to lower this because it doesn't need to be that high. And what we'll actually do is we'll go ahead and build a nice kind of like a barrier 
um, system over here. I don't, I, well, the otters will be able to get down over here, which I don't really want them to do. Though, actually, now that I say that, it's a, hmm. It's a cute little, like, hidey hole, you know? It's a fun little space for them. Nah, I think I'm, I think I'm probably better off, uh, locking this space off, as was the original layout, and, and, uh, and, and doing something with this interior space, but not making that giant glass barrier. It was pointed out that it was kind of like, it looked very unnatural compared to the, the rest of the space, and I agree. Um, there were, there were a couple of good, uh, sort of, uh, points of feedback and, and critique there, uh, that, uh, that resonated with me when when I read them. And again, this is why I always say like I'm I'm always open to to feedback. If I um, disagree with it, then you know that's perfectly cool. Not every piece of feedback uh, like uh, what's the best way to put it? Um, feedback doesn't have to be right or wrong. Fe feedback isn't right or wrong. You know what I mean? Am I making sense? It's 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 a matter of sharing opinions and thoughts and and I like that I I enjoy the process of that uh, but obviously because it's about opinions and thoughts there's a lot of room for like um, adapting or choosing not to adapt feedback now some feedback is just straight up objective some feedback is just like hey you forgot to set the temperatures correctly right like there's there's a correct way of doing that and a wrong way of doing that some things are a bit more subjective. And, uh, and I really like the conversations that come up, and I really like how oftentimes it'll, it, as I've said before, it, it gives me a bit of an opportunity to, to have a paradigm shift or have a perspective shift uh, to, to reassess how I've gone about things. Like, yeah, I feel like that looks so much better than having that massive, like, you know, dark gray, black glass piece over here. And with a little bit of, like, you know, using these kinds of stuff or, or ooh, I've got some ideas. Okay, I'm excited for what might potentially come of this space. I say might because uh, I don't know how well the pieces will work, but I know the pieces exist. If they work nicely, then it'll be it'll be fun. It'll be interesting. All right, cool. All right, exciting, exciting, exciting. All right, cool. We'll definitely tackle that in a time lapse. So it's it's gonna be too much uh, too much uh, finicky like finessing to do it in uh, in real time. We'll do that in a time lapse. Um, but yeah, so the reference to the uh, the temperatures, by the way, was not just out of nowhere. Some of y'all pointed out that I think yes, some of the temperatures are off. It's the whole thing where, like, when you duplicate something, the first time you duplicate it, it retains the properties of the original, but the second time you duplicate it, uh, it does not retain those properties. You you'll have noticed this with um, with education boards as well, right? Like, if I go ahead and, uh, if I'm not mistaken, at least watch it not work this time around. Uh, if I go ahead and duplicate this once, and then a second time, you'll see how that one does not carry the properties over. I don't know why it's that way. I, I don't know. I don't know what the like, what the game logic is that makes it stop uh, seeing the connection. But either way, it is what it is. Not a big deal. Uh, and we'll we will be. This won't be floating when we're when we're done with it. Don't uh, don't worry about that. This will be this will be fine. Um, beyond that, right? There was talk about trying to find a way to integrate underwater viewing over here, and I did get some suggestions. I feel it's it's a it's a tough it's a tough one. It's a tough one. It's a tough one because. I don't know if the complication is worth the end result. Though there was a great point brought up uh, in the comments that, like, you know, it's kind of the the big thing with this DLC is the the underwater experience with the uh, aquatic animals and whatnot. Uh, solid point. Very solid point. Um, now obviously the the other aquatic animals or aquatic DLC animals will be will be getting this kind of a uh, underwater viewing treatment. As well, the big issue or the big uh, roadblock, I guess, with with the otters specifically is the fact that we are retrofitting uh, a space for them. Um, this this might work nicer than I'd initially thought. Actually, I was worried that this ramp would have to be completely reworked, and that was uh, cause for some serious concern. But if I can just get that, there we go, something like that. Yeah, that's a that's a decently cool shape. Fair enough. This is gonna be interesting though. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we can do. Um I'll have to tunnel the view here. Tunnel the terrain rather. Or actually we'll probably Alright, let's let's try this. It's gonna be uh 
an experiment, right? And I kind of want to do this in real time just so we can like uh, mess around with the pathing and stuff together. And, and a lot of the time what happens is when I do something in real time, many of y'all will point out like, hey, there's a more efficient way to do something or, or what have you, uh, which I am always, uh, always open to as well. So every once in a while I like to do these things in real time. Um, not going to get too finicky. I'll, I'll be doing like, the, again, the finessing and stuff I'll be doing um, afterwards during the time lapse. I do, however, want to see how this looks in, well, not real time necessarily, but with the waterfall active. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that it didn't look too weird and, and broken with the, the, you know, reeds and things like that. All right, so, okay, hold on. If we do this, again, water isn't necessarily the issue over here because the water level is, uh, is fine. This is a funny sight. Like a kangaroo fighting. When kangaroos um, fight, they they get onto their tails. They support their entire body weight with their tails, and they uh, hold on to each other's shoulders, and they just like kick each other. <laughs> it's like that. Oh, I forgot the game is game. I call it a game. It's not a game. It's like that game you play as kids where you yeah, like you hold each other by the shoulders and you just kick each other's I think shins. Oh man. Uh, anyway, <laughs> that's what it reminds me of. Now, this is... See, I don't want to make this area ugly for the sake of an underwater viewing experience. So I really hope we're able to make this work nicely here. What I want to do is I want to kind of, like, extend this out a little bit. Right? I think I think we'll probably be fine, actually. If I extend this out a little bit. Raise this up a little bit. How low can we really go over here is the question. Also, maybe let's go ahead and move this out a bit as well. There we go. How low can we go? Got to turn on tunneling. Tunneling is on. Excellent. Turn on the angle snap. Because what we can do is maybe... Any modification fail? Oh, we're going to have to... Man, this is... I don't know. Again, I just don't understand the game logic uh, being applied over here. I imagine I can't do this because of the... Uh, barriers and it's just like what does the barrier and the path anyway not a big deal easy solution not a big deal just got to adjust that there we go now we can go ahead and continue this downward not spiral yet do that definitely gonna have to light the space up turn off that angle snap I'm going to turn the flashlight on over here. What we're planning on doing is going around this waterfall. Hmm. Okay, how high does this... Uh... Oh, you know what? This is actually going to obstruct our uh, water levels, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because of how low this uh, gap goes. Okay, okay. Where, where do we need this? Not over here, but at the next level up. So close. Actually, how would we go about... ...doing this? I guess what we would need to do... Oh, okay, I see. I think, I think this will work. What we would need to do is... ...adjust the barrier here. Uh, maybe let's nudge you in over to here. Lower your height a bit. Bring you over. This is if this doesn't work, undoing this is going to be a nightmare. Undoing this is going to be a nightmare. Don't know if this will work actually. If I put you. Oh come on now. Not over there. Over here. Come on. Right? Why? Why are you like this game? <laughs> well, let me put one down over here. Oh. Come on now. Alright, yeah, it's irrelevant. Let's just put it down on this side. And then move this one over. There's all the struggling you don't see in a time lapse, I guess. Alright, if I go ahead and make this into glass. Raise you up a bit. 
Again, this is like a, let me intersect the bottom of the path. It would make my life so much easier. And I move you up a bit. Go glass over here, glass over here. Don't know this will work. Use our brain. Ah, uh, no. So. Gotta go a step higher than this. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Let's go ahead and get rid of the path here. Nope. Go ahead and modify this to be a bit higher. Might be able to pull this off still. If it's not overcomplicated, then what's the fun, right? <laughs> Okay, there we go. Now, maybe we can add water at the right level. Indeed, we can. That's looking... That's looking right. Okay, cool. So that's worked out. Now, can we go back in? Oh, would you look at that? No leaking, though. Uh, we can go back in and lower you... Come on. Run with it. Where's my user interface? Okay. I, I believe... There we go. <laughs> a matter of uh, perseverance. Every time a space agency accomplishes a new mission, I get the distinct desire to play more Kerbal Space Program. Doesn't matter which space agency, doesn't matter what the mission was. Every time, every time, without fail, I feel like playing more Kerbal Space Program. Um, all right. So this, so far, so good, but can we? No, we can't. Constructed. Well, I imagine... Oh, but we can bend you in a little bit. And then, no stairs, obviously. Again, we are trying to keep things fully accessible. I wonder if... Hmm, you know what? Okay, this, this could be interesting. The original suggestion was to make this thing go all the way around and uh, connect over here to be a part of the loop, which is probably the right decision. But I want to experiment with something over here. Can we... do... oops. This kind of a thing. Hmm. Oh, great. Can I not hook you up over here? I guess not, eh? Okay, okay. Um, pull this back. Feel like... I'm gonna undo these so that the tunneling is undone as well. Increase the width of this a bit. Sorry, not length, but width. Do this kind of a thing. And so that becomes the viewing spot. Now, is that low enough is the question. Uh, I think... I think it might be. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty low. All right, okay. Let's, uh, let's... Well, let's try this. One way to find out, right? Um, go ahead and get rid of the water. Go ahead and... Create a hole here. Right, for viewing. Let's move some of this out because it looks hideous. Whoa, that's not what I meant. Go ahead and reconnect you. Thank you. Come on now. There we go. Yeah, seems fitting. A little bit more. All right, cool. We might want to put down some like rocks and stuff over here to finesse that. I like the smooth tool, but sometimes it leads to some very ugly shapes. All right, well, we'll, we'll, we'll toy around with that a bit more afterwards. Uh, let's go ahead and edit this. Get you back up over here. Turn this into a glass barrier. Um, all right, so this is going to be interesting. Let's go ahead and add a separate piece over here. Raise you up. Okay, cool. That should not get in the way of our water. 
What I will need to do though is go back in and right of course. Again, just another. Okay, let's see if we can't. I'm gonna have to remove you at least. And only then will I be able to raise Yep, your level. Water comes in over here. Yes, that's the right level. Alright, good stuff. Then we go back in. And drop this down. You down a bit more over there, and you down a bit more over here. So it looks pretty well, you know, sealed. Cool. Done. Path. Connection. Why are you not? Oh, this is the game we're playing, huh? Hey, hey. This is fun. This was is just not going to let me hook up the way I had it before. Try getting rid of this. Go up from here. Maybe it was because I had the width way too high. There we go. All right, cool. Perfect. Perfect. And this is the glass over here. So when you're standing over here, you kind of got a decent, uh, decent view of it. You got a view of the the top over there as well. This is, well, we can use some rocks and stuff to to make that work a bit better. All right, all right. Uh, what I think would be nice though is if we make this a little bit deeper over here. I think it's pretty cool as well because you're like right next to the waterfall and whatnot. I feel like there's a there's a lot of cool elements to this uh, to this spot over here. Go ahead and make this a little bit larger on that side. There we go. Sure, and let's um find a better way to make this work. Again, we'll use rocks and stuff. Sorry, getting getting too caught up in the in the minutia over here. Um, and now of course I have to. Sorry, <sighs> my life. It's these little things that, like, really get in the way. Done. Right height. I also don't like this. As much as it was, like, kind of funny earlier, I, I don't like it. <laughs> there we go. Let's fix it. Once and for all. Water. Let's height. Go ahead and... This down here. We're all good you up. Good stuff. Alright, so we've got a nice little... You can come up over here. You can go over this way. You can go over this way. Or if you're so inclined, you can come down over here and, uh, and see them in action down below. Now, why is this so broken looking? Like, why is it doing this kind of stretching, you know? Let's go ahead and move this over to here. Hopefully that's deep enough. Looks to be the case. Because that way, at least when you're over here, you have something to watch, I guess. Yes, yeah, so this re this refraction is acting very uh, very strangely. But nonetheless, it, it does work. you got the waterfall over here. Oh, that's, that's actually pretty neat. And I, I do want them to have, like this half and half experience. I was kind of tempted to do like a full underwater experience. I think I want to do that for like seals and stuff. I feel like for, uh, for otters, this works quite nicely because you can kind of see when they, uh, when they float around like, like this, you know, you'll get to see the full like experience as it were at a decent height. All right, cool. Yeah. I think that works. Now the, the unfortunate thing is that because it's not a loop, customers might not, uh, go around the hold bend per se um what i could experiment with is uh, is actually making that loop happen go ahead and just connect all this um first of all 
this cooler down over here before I forget. Again, as I am prone to do. Got a donation bin down over here as well. First of all, let's move this one up over here. You down over here. We'll get some lights and stuff down here as well, of course. Uh, we should get a board down here as well. Sure, if that's what works. And let's get some speakers down here too. This obviously got adjusted when we uh, change the path here. Not a problem. Put you back there. Get one down over here. Right in the middle makes sense. We can actually find a way to like prop it up somewhere here. Okay. Do we not have power down here? We do have power. Alright, excellent. What's your problem? Normally it's only red if there's an issue. I guess it's too far away from the animal to be considered relevant. Alright, fair enough. That works fine for me. I don't want guests all the way back here anyway. I want them to be by the uh, by the window, right? So that's fine by me. And looks like we've got decent coverage. All right, good stuff. Now, yeah, what we could do, what we could do is continue this path onwards around the waterfall and then kind of like pop up over here. It's such a long walk though. And I feel like guests will just be upset about it. I kind of want to see first if guests use um, use this as is. Like if they, if their sense of adventure brings them down here, um, and if not, then we'll, uh, we'll consider making it a closed loop going all the way around the waterfall, going through the, uh, the, the central area of the zoo, which is absolutely wild to think about. Um, but that's a, yeah, that's a, that's a later consideration. That is a later consideration. All right, cool. Good stuff. I, I do quite like this though. Hopefully they'll, they'll use it. But with that in place, I think there's a lot of like rough edges and stuff that we'll have to clean up with a this like beauty pass time lapse whatever you want to call it we'll try and integrate this a bit more nicely as well again i don't want this glass to be exposed we'll put some rocks and stuff down and i got some plans for this area as well okay i guess it's gonna end up being a lot more focused on the enclosure than i'd initially anticipated but uh folks with that said i do believe we're right about ready to dive on in to our time lapse i'm just trying to figure out if there's anything else i want to do before we do dive in um oh you know what actually there is one thing uh i apologize but i i will forget it um, if I don't do it right now, I fear that is, um, the aquatic benches. They are not gaudy. They are quite nice, actually. Um, that's not what I meant. I don't want to use a too vibrant a green. There we go. Yeah, that, that feels... That feels better. Like stained wood as opposed to this like artificial plastic wood looking thing. There we go. This is, this is, maybe I'd go for a different color. We could, you know what, maybe, maybe I should go for like a brown. This is like a purplish maroony kind of a thing. Maybe we should go for like a, a brown just to kind of like match the otter. But we should definitely use the aquatic uh, benches more often. They're they're really nice and again simple, not too gaudy or anything like that. Um, do I actually want to get yeah picnic benches as well? Right. Take a look at what the aquatic ones look like. Yeah, these are great. A little bit on the bigger side, but these are great. And change your faux wood color to be this one. That's a little bit on the green side. We can go in and adjust it later too. Pop you down over here. I really hope guests actually use it and they don't just like have their path blocked by it. Always tough to know what guests can navigate and what they refuse to navigate. Let's try one over here as well. I think it's quite a nice spot to like just eat and watch the animals. Anyway, with that, I believe we're ready to dive into our time lapse. So folks, um, yeah, without further ado, this time last time. All right, folks, I am yet again super pleased with the time lapse. Honestly, this space is <laughs> slowly becoming maybe one of my favorite spaces at Elite Zoo South. We experiment with some of the new aquatic DLC toys, as you can see me already kind of doing over here with these um, like structured waterfall pieces. We experiment with uh, 
rock structures and, and we fill out the, the, the little cave walkthrough area. We do, we do a lot this time lapse and I feel like it, it really does start bringing this space all together. Uh, I think the missing elements that like, like I always say, there's always like there's that feeling of like, hmm, yeah, you know, there's something, we need to do something over here. And I feel like a lot of those some things were, uh, were tackled today. Uh, you can see me kind of going back and forth with regards to how to actually execute this uh, waterfall area. Uh, largely, again, dealing with how the addition of water is limited based on like incremental heights and and trying to make it work with the um, these uh, really great building pieces. I really like these building pieces that came with the Aquatic DLC, um, but uh, again, it just wasn't working as cleanly as I would like, so I had to go with the uh, the glass barrier route again. It's a very effective solution. It's just one that I wish we didn't have to rely on so much. Uh, but nonetheless, with that said, it does. Uh, you know, work to great effect over here and with a little bit of, you know, prop placement, I suppose, a couple of rocks and a couple of uh, pieces of trees and logs and stuff like that, it does a, a decent enough job of, of, you know, imitating what I want it to look like. I actually also add a water treatment plant uh, next to our staff room, like in this little tucked away area, because I realize some of these bodies of water do not get proper filtration, and this little corner area is far enough away from the guests to uh, not upset them. But while I was looking at that, I also noticed that the guests are actually being made upset by the staff room, and uh, so I will be correcting that as well this time lapse, because we will be adding some more decorative elements to the staff room as well. Now, initially I started using the aquatic uh, faux rock pieces to decorate the uh, like this this new kind of waterfall area, but uh, it just wasn't looking... I really like those pieces. I used them a lot in our little um, mini-series, but for some reason they didn't work in this space, so I decided to go back to these savannah themed rocks and use them instead to again actually make it look like the, these waterfall structure pieces are actual, you know, waterfalls. It's actual water rushing through uh, a rocky area. I, I wish these pieces had existed in the game since the beginning. I would have done a lot of things very differently, but they exist now and I'm extremely happy for them because they are, they're, they're really nice pieces and I, I expect I'll be using them quite a bit more. I'm also going to put down some VFX pieces, but because I can't see how they actually operate right now, I'll be correcting them afterwards. Um, but apart from, you know, putting down this little um, river waterfall element, I also have to work on the, uh, not just the area around it like I'm doing right now, but also a literal bridge to connect the two sides of the now kind of split or separated enclosure. So we'll be working on that afterwards as well. But the first thing I wanted to do over here was sort of uh, clean up the edge of this second uh, level, if you will. Uh, as some of you pointed out, it seemed a little like rough around the edges and a little messy. Uh, and, and the plan was never to leave it as it was earlier. I wanted to come in with these rock pieces or with something at least to clean it up. And I feel like the rock pieces do a good job of uh, again, enclosing that space that is across the way from Llama Lane, like if you arrive from Llama Lane, I mean. Um, and then again, just like painting some rock textures, getting these uh, the cave areas to look good, and just trying to find the right uh, angles for, for everything, both on the inside over here as well as uh, viewing from the outside. I try to like consider all angles, but again, ever since my experience with Elitsu North and trying to you know limit our, our peace counts and all that, uh, I, I try to be a bit more reasonable and a bit more realistic with regards to where we're actually going to be seeing things from versus not. Um, with that said, I decide, again, always, that I do always want to try and uh, push for quote-unquote realism, if you will, when possible. So I, I do try to build these kind of like reinforcing structures over here for the uh, little cave environment, the little cave space over here, uh, which I think works quite nicely. It breaks up the, uh, it, it breaks up the visual in, in terms of color, in terms of like kind of segmentation, and it also looks... Uh, pretty realistic. Now, back over here, gonna be putting down some more rocks. Again, this was something I was trying to figure out how to make it look uh, good and real, um, and also blend into the space around it. I was kind of struggling with it, because again, it, we're trying to go for that kind of sandy sort of a look, but you can't really... There's not really a sandy or a beach rock kind of a set of pieces available. So I had to work with what I what I could work with, which are these savanna rocks, and I think they do a good enough job. Uh, but definitely something I was like kind of second guessing and hesitating. Uh, I'm also adding some pieces to hide the exposed uh, sort of structural part of the uh, the the waterfall uh, piece, whatever you want to call it, uh, and also to hide the um, 
the, the, the glass barrier as well. A little bit of it was sticking out, so I wanted to hide that too. Now going around with these uh, fig tree roots to add some more, again, just breakage of the uh, the, the texture, add some more, um, you know, variety, I guess, to the to the surface colors and, and the surface, like, like, layers you're looking at. Same thing goes with this little bush back there. That green, that little spot of green, I think, really helps just elevate that space. Um... And I do believe I decided to get rid of this uh, this bridge over here. I, again, we need something to allow our keepers and vets and stuff like that to cross from one side to another. The otters will be fine. They can, you know, use the water. They can do it in, in many ways. Uh, but but for our staff itself, we need to think of something. So uh, you can see I'm kind of building like a, a, a sort of a bridge and thinking very like very, very, very rough around the edges. So the idea of like, you know, it's not really a rope bridge. It's a walkway that has rope to the side of it so that you can hold on to the rope as you cross. Obviously, it's a lot more secure for our actual staff, but that's the vibe I'm trying to play at over there. Now, over here, um, I was actually thinking about this. I think I mentioned this at the beginning of the session as well. I was thinking about this like right after I stopped recording the last session, and I saw quite a few of you mention it in the comments as well. That wouldn't it be nice for this back area to actually be a bit of a balcony? And I wholeheartedly, 100% agree. I think that'd be a nice touch. Um, and uh, and so we do exactly that using our the channel colors to, to decorate the chairs a little bit. Uh, but also at the same time, I am going to add some more detail uh, around the whole thing. Uh, just adding a couple of vines here and there, adding some of the bamboo pieces that I was talking about last session as well. Uh, and again, I am also checking on the, uh, the negative impact radius because like I mentioned at the near beginning of this uh, time lapse, the, uh, the guests are being made upset when they walk underneath the uh, uh, the staff room. So the vines, the uh, bamboo pieces, the, the, the deck chairs, everything all comes together nicely to reduce that radius and also make this space look a fair bit nicer and a bit more complete, like an actual lounge area. This is definitely the best staff room that uh, exists across Elite Zoo North and South. Oh, but it's not done yet, of course. Got to add a little... I feel like I'm really happy with that color pick, by the way. I think it goes really nicely with the bamboo. But, um, you know, there's a little bit of shade to, to tuck under when it gets too hot. Um, if you want to go out on the balcony, it's not, you know, if, if it's unpleasant in terms of heat, then you just, you got the you got the canopy. If it's raining, you've got the canopy. You're, you're safe. Um, but with that done, we come back over here and work on what uh, I wanted to sort of prioritize at the beginning of this time lapse, but it in fact ends up being, I think, one of the last things we do, and that is just kind of decorating the space out so it looks a bit more uh, complete over here. Um, and we actually do a bit more work over here after the time lapse as well, in terms of trying to get guests to actually come down here and interact with the space. Uh, I do need to check on the otter sort of uh, satisfaction with the space again because we have repainted some texture uh, and we have kind of reshaped the uh, the enclosure as well. Um, but overall, I mean, you can see me kind of slowly looking around as well over here. I'm... I, I feel like it's all come together very nicely. Oh, you know what? Yeah, okay, here we go. Put a couple of these uh, tree logs down, try to break up the texture of the water, a, a few more reeds here and there. That's feeling all good, but something's still missing. And you know what? It's this giant set of like brown logs right down the middle they just don't fit in they're just a little too dark a little too clunky so i get rid of them and now we go ahead and put in the uh they're actually african bamboo pieces but they work well enough in this uh south american space as well a couple more rocks being put down up over here because it was sticking out like a sore thumb i wanted to clean it up and and again try and integrate it with the space a bit better see if it was possible or if i have to come back and look at a different solution we will refine the rock work over here eventually but for now it, it does the job and for now that is actually going to be the time lapse as we kind of cap off these last few rocks let me know your thoughts as always down below leave a like leave a comment leave your feedback your opinion your thoughts but for now back to regular speed all right folks we are back from the time lapse and i gotta say once again i am very pleased with this space if i was Pleased with it previously, I'm even more pleased with it now. Honestly, the addition of these little waterfall elements, I feel like it come a long way to just kind of like add a bit of variety over here. I do still feel like there is some, honestly, this happens every time I sit down with a time lapse. Basically, after a time lapse is done, I like step away for a minute and then come back and then go back to the post time lapse stuff. And so every time afterwards, <laughs> perhaps it's a mistake to do this, but I get basically a, a semi fresh set of eyes, if you will. And then I start judging 
uh, all the little things like, uh, you know, I guess I, I wouldn't mind adding some more rocks down over here, adding some supports down over here. There's like little details that I definitely like to uh, to add as well to the um, like overall space, uh, which, you know, had I thought about earlier, I, I probably would have done in this time lapse, but uh, but I didn't. Um, it's one of those things with time lapses is like as they go on for longer and longer, the uh, the, the time lapse fatigue starts to kick in. And I start, uh, you know, things start to like, I, I start to get that tunnel vision, I suppose, if you will. And I get too caught up in one specific thing and the and the bigger picture slowly fades away into the background until uh, I do that thing where I walk away and I come back and I go, ah, oh, you know what, there's some things that I could definitely uh, improve here and there. But I, I think what we'll do is when we do our next sort of time lapse beauty pass, like dedicated beauty pass, um, we'll come back and... Uh, and, and add those final little pieces, because there isn't all that much, really. There isn't all that much, just a couple of, uh, well, I say that, but I know when I do come back over here, I'm going to be like, well, let's add more rocks. Let's add, let's, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's seal this space up. Let's, yeah, I'm going to get caught up. Anyway, folks, um, what to do now? Well, for one, I'm going to go ahead and hit resume so we can actually have time progress in today's session. Yeah. 21st of January, year 131. It has been a long time at Elite Zoo South. It's always wild to think back on uh, on Elite Zoo South and just how uh, how how far our adventures have taken us. Uh, now, a couple things to check on, actually, before we're able to just disengage with this space entirely. It looks as though, because normally, if our vets and stuff weren't able to reach this area as well, the game would highlight this... Uh, uh, feeding tray as unreachable. There'd be a little like warning over here. So that tells me we're all good over here, but Have we perhaps by mistake? All right, good. Excellent. We've not prevented Access we haven't added new escape spots or anything like that And in fact we now also have and I wish I caught that a bit better my apologies We actually have this gradual slope working quite nicely uh, They are also able to get over here. They're not able to climb up top though if I recall correctly yeah, they're not able to get up over here. I do wonder, though, would they be able to climb across this thing if I were to lay it flat like this? I imagine yes. I don't know if I want to do that. I was kind of torn um, between wanting to do that and not wanting to do that. But let's go ahead and check here. Hmm. Nah, it's a little too rugged, I guess. It's, it's hitbox isn't, like, perfectly square or round or whatever it would need to be. Either way, I am quite pleased with the space. I'm quite pleased with how it's all come together. I'm quite pleased with uh, implementing many of the suggestions that I got from the uh, the comments as well. I quite like our bridge over here as well. Using the Africa bamboo um, wall piece or, or whatever it is down over here. But at the end of the day, I guess the bamboo looks like bamboo. It doesn't have any like um, recognizable markings per se. And it worked a lot better than any of the other options, I, th I feel like. Um, but yeah, I feel pretty good about this. Ooh, excellent. Yes. I don't think we've ever seen that animation. Oh, look at that. Look at that synchronization. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> okay, that's... It's interesting how long that animation actually is that was synchronized there before they started doing their own thing. Buddy back there is... Whoa, what are you... Whoa, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're following the wrong koala here. What are you moonwalking up this thing for? What? <laughs> Anyway, um, we have a baby coming. Offspring due June of next year. That'll be nice. That'll be nice. What else have we got going on over here? Serious injury over here for Karima. Vet is called, I believe. But just in case, let's go ahead and call a vet. And Sophia over here. Low welfare. Oh, are you stuck up over here? Looks like you are stuck up over here, aren't you? Yeah. Why? Why are we back to square one with this? Hmm. Gotta be a way to... How about now? Well, you can jump it, so I guess that works. Yeah, all right. At least, at least it's uh, not actually like stuck. There we go. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. Hopefully, yeah, vet has been called. Yeah, we're good there. Got some more mating going on over here. Good for you. Not inbreeding or anything. All right, things are looking pretty good. Uh, what I do want to check though, as well as we have time moving forward, is I want to see if guests are actually going down. Yeah, this space is really cool. I'm really pleased with this space. 
Yeah, it's going to be tough to convince guests to come down over here unless we put... Oh, you know what? Washroom, food, that kind of stuff. That'll do the trick, I think. Because then rather than go from here all the way over there for, you know, various uh, requirements or what have you, uh, they can just head down over here instead. And I feel like that'll at least give a uh, bit of a, a call to action down over here. Low welfare for one of our Jaguars. Hang on a second. What's wrong over here? Social life. Why? Are you stuck up here? No, it's not a terrain problem. Um, it should be fine. Oh, that, that was weird. Anyway, this is also adorable to just watch. I'm so pleased with this space. Um. <laughs> okay. The timing on that is just priceless. Oh, wow. Okay. Um. Still pleased with the space, even though the game might treat a little uh, funnily from time to time, but <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say about that. Oh, this area is super crowded as well. I wonder if the baby monkeys have been driving a lot of uh, traffic here. That's a lot. This is extremely crowded. I wonder if it's like a matter of us making this connection as well. Maybe now people are able to come down here from Africa more easily. I mean, I don't... This area has always been very crowded, but this area, this is new. This is new. I love it. I'm not complaining. Making some good money over here. Yeah. Oh boy. I'd say it's May. We've already made. Wow. All right. Yeah. This is this is this is going well. This, oh my God. You eight thousand almost over here. Eight. Oh, actually eight thousand. More than eight thousand now. <laughs> Yo, we're making some good money over here. They haven't made uh, donations be listed separately, have they? Um, finances. No. Income. Donations are just one lump sum. I really I really wish they would, like, give a per animal donation uh, marking. And I don't think we can find it here either, right? Running costs, but not associated donations. Kind of would be good to have costs versus, you know, revenue. So you can determine your profits. You can determine what's uh, what's making you money versus what's uh, taking your money. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. What was I going to get up to? Oh, right, 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 right. Sorry. Got completely distracted there. Let's go ahead and put down some uh, good spots down over here. I think we'll start with a washroom. It feels like a safe bet to begin with. This also means, of course, that we need more name suggestions for everything from toilet blocks to whatever food spots we put down. I imagine we're going to have to adjust the terrain over here. I mean, I think we, we knew. Oh, no. Our warthog Simba is about to die of old age. How you've been with us for a very long time, buddy. Be time to replace you with, uh, with our other dad warthog. I wonder what the inbreeding risks are there if we need to get a completely new male instead. Oh my, that was unceremonious. Wow. Don't clip through your dead, um, colleague. I don't, oh my god, they're really, oh my lord, they're not really, um, aware of, of the dead body, are they? Uh, alright, let's take a look at our uh, animal trading, our storage. Warthog, where are you? There's a lot of animals to trade out. Uh, Jonas? No. Ogbana. Got you marked properly. Compare mates. Gotta make sure that there's no issues to be had here. We are... Good. Good. This would be inbreeding. Good. Good. Alright, cool. Ogbana comes back then. Where are you, buddy? Ogbana. Decent stats as well, so good stuff. Come on now. Come on now. Let me, let me click. <laughs> Alright, get you in here. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, now officially back to our, uh, our enclosure over here. Go ahead and put down a... And again, we have to do lighting and stuff down over here as well. I've not, uh, I've not forgotten or anything like that. The washroom down over here. Back a bit. 
There you go. So as you come in, if you use the blue, you can. All right, good stuff. Um, let's go ahead and get uh, what kind of guest facilities do we want to work? Um, Water always goes a long way in these hot climates. Wow, you don't look like you're having a good time. Should be able to. There we go. Pop you in here. Don't need to. Oh, actually, I do need to raise it a little bit. So it's lined up. Cool. Fair enough. Pop you down there. Uh, let's get ourselves a gulpy energy, perhaps. Or a pip shot smoothie. I don't think we've had pip shot smoothies in here. Ooh, I kind of like that shape. Nah, you know, I don't like it as much as the curved look we've got going on down here. Now this should draw customers down here. Loop or no loop, this should pull customers down here for sure. And we should be able to um, you know, feel as though they're interacting with the space and, and, and taking advantage of this uh, angle we've made for them as well. There you go, our, our first guests already making it through. I'm here to pick up some water and uh, how about some food? What do we what do we need? Uh, um, we haven't put down a Mexalente in a very long time, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Drop you down over here. Like so. Oh, no. Close. Come on now. Yeah, that works for me. Uh, and I wonder also if I want to put an info center down over here. You guys can't decide, eh? All these amazing choices. Info centers are good because you can get, like, animal adoptions and umbrellas and stuff like that, and this is a hiding spot for people who might be uh, caught in the rain. But maybe an info center isn't a bad idea. I was originally tempted to maybe do another food spot, but um, I think this should take care of all varied needs. We'll keep an eye out for it. Pop you down over there. What's going on over here? Animal has escaped. It was only a matter of time. We managed to clip through something. Over here we're having some trouble. Well, it's so I couldn't even tell the transition into night happened because of uh <laughs> Wow. Because we were in that cave. Alright, let's see. Alexio can stay as can Rosalise. Alexio and Rosalise, yeah sure. Everybody else must go. So Alexio and I guess Rosalise will, uh... Oh, yeah, the store trade center is too full. All right. Exhibit trading. I don't know why they did this. Where are you, buddy? Are you even in here? You should be. Lucia, Beatrice, Ed, uh, Rosalise. There we go. I hope I'm saying that right. And you in here. Attable. No, it's not. Yeah, there we go. Game's acting strange with me right now. Alright, so now, all, except for our, oh no, Rosalie's is kind of old, of course. We have more, Mila, Beatrice, not the highest, uh, oop, Darien, let's send you in perhaps. Looks like they'll work, yeah, okay, great. Select all, except for Alexio and Darien. So, such a silly change that they've made, honestly. No other way to put it. Quick trade. Come on, quick trade. It just doesn't help with the experience at all. There you go. You guys will be fine. The protesters can leave. Thank you very much for your concern. There's no need for it here. Uh, and just like that, night has fallen. <laughs> Completely pitch black. Well, with the lights turned off. Ooh. This is quite the nice space. Quite a nice space. I'm I'm very pleased with uh, with how all this looks. This is Anne. Wow. You know what? This is great. I really like this setup as well. The uh, the VFX were working nicely as well to further sell the uh, the effect over here. 
guess I could raise you up a bit. Right? Let me pause that for a second. Because I gotta rotate you. There we go. A bit more. A little bit more. There we go. That one also needs rotating. This one needs lowering, I think, actually. Just wish. There we go. Up over here. Go ahead and rotate you as well. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Excellent. Tilt is okay. Cool. Yeah, you know what? Really liking these vibes. Really liking these vibes. It's got to figure out the lighting and stuff over here, but otherwise, very pleased. Where did little guy go? Look at those teeth, man. Very vicious looking. Actually, quite vicious looking. <laughs> Shed better lighting over here right now. Light this guy up. A little, little, little dramatic lighting in this, uh, Terrifying pose. Keep bared. Anyway. Letting myself get distracted by these adorable little animals. I feel like this is working quite nicely. Oh, look at that as well. I'm a sucker for backlighting. Obviously, we'll be adding more over here to make this a bit more, um, you know, inviting and not as creepy and scary. But this, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. It's wild how you lose a sense of time looking in this direction. Like, I thought it was still going to be pitch black when we turned around. And then we turn around, and the next thing you know, it's like a nice sun sunrise orange, I suppose. I really quite like how this looks. This is a nice spot to be in. I might want to move this education board so it's not blocking the view over here, I guess. I like blocking the angle over here. I might want to move that actually like over um, like here or something. Yeah, that way you can like really get down here and you can see what the animals are up to if they're up to anything. Yo, I like this a lot. Oh, hey, we actually have you down over here. It looks so cute. <laughs> there we go. I'm really pleased with this space. There's still like, yeah, there's a little bit of work to do. Uh, some of y'all pointed out that like, oh, these are kind of like floating here, uh, which yeah, I get, you know, I guess not the end of the world, but it would still be nice to like try and get uh, get it looking like it's on a foundation and stuff. We can work on some of that finer stuff uh, as we move forward, I think. But uh, overall, pleased with uh, with the space. I, I gotta get some of the uh, the bubble um, toys and VFX and stuff going as well as some of y'all were suggesting. There's still work to do in the area, obviously. There always, there always is, there always will be. Um, but I am very pleased with today's successes. Um, really happy with how this space looks and feels, actually. Like, this is... To me, this, I don't know, this is, this is great. This is great, and I hope y'all like it too. But folks, this is, we're going to be calling it a session. If you had a good time, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, how I go about doing it. Y'all know the drill by now. It really does make a very big difference. Uh, again, I look at the number of likes and comments for a quick read on um, just how interested folks are on a series or you know how disinterested they've become over time. Uh, I read the comments if you've got any feedback, thoughts, opinions, whatever it might be. Uh, I do read all the comments to get a good idea of how people are feeling about a series as well. So... Keep that all coming because it does uh, it does really help out um, just in, in terms of, again, knowing what folks are liking, what they're not liking. Again, next session, I think the plan is to go ahead and add a new animal. Think about some uh, plans that I've outlined previously with regards to which that animal might be. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to stick with those plans. But I'm not going to reiterate them right now because who knows? Things might change. Nothing is set in stone until it's done. Folks... Hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, if you did, leave a like, leave a comment. As always, a massive thanks goes out 
to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.